the most likely cause of injury, damage, or death in the society today is accidents. Thousands of people die prematurely yearly from injuries that are sustained in accidents. Accidents pose a greater health problem to man than any other cause of death. What is accident then? Accident is an unplanned or unintended occurrence that leads to either injury, death, or damage to property. Accidents can be broadly classified into four, and this is particularly based on the places where they occur. There are accidents at home, also known as home accidents, there are accidents in the school, those in the industrial or also known as workplace accidents, and accidents on the road. We are going to discuss them one after the other. Home accidents, also known as domestic accidents. Domestic accidents occur where we live, that is, in the home. Accidents like this occur mostly in the bedroom, in the kitchen, in the sitting room, bathroom, and around the compound. Examples of such accidents include fall, burn, electric shock, poison from drugs, etc. School accident. School accident is another class of accident and it occurs in the school. This can be in the classroom, in the laboratory, in the playground, in school farm, in gymnasium, etc. Examples of such accidents include the likes of falls, collision in the walkways, drowning in the pools, etc. Industrial or workplace accidents. Industrial or workplace accidents occurs in the place where we work. It occurs in factories, industry construction sites, workshops, etc. Examples of such accidents include electrocution, tossing gas inhalation, falls, cuts, landslide effects, etc. Road traffic accidents, the last category of accidents, is a class of accidents particularly occur in the road. This accident is the leading cause of death in the world. Such accidents occur from motor vehicles, bicycles, motorbikes, and other vehicles or pedestrians. What are the causes of road traffic accidents? There are several causes of road traffic accidents, but I will cite a few. Road traffic accidents can be caused by driving or riding a faulty vehicle. Example, that without brake. Lack of driving or riding skills can also cause road or traffic accidents. Driving or riding vehicles without safety accessories, accessories such as arm, side mirror, reflector, rear and brake lights can cause road traffic accidents. Lack of self-control while driving or riding. Failure to obey road tra traffic rules or laws. Lack of concentration while driving. And influence of drug while driving or riding. What are the ways you can prevent road traffic accidents? This is basically avoiding the causes that are highlighted above. First, all vehicles on the road should be in good condition. All vehicles should be fitted with safety accessories like on, traffic light indicator, brake light, etc. All drivers and riders should be educated on the theory and practice of driving and riding. Drive with consideration for other road users. Do not drink while driving, etc. and so many others. 
What is safety? Safety. You see, in the environment, accidents and hazards of various kinds exist everywhere. As a result, there is need to take precaution to avoid this condition. And the best way to be out of this condition is to play safe and be safety cautious. Safety is everyone's responsibility. Then what is safety? Safety, therefore, is a state of being free from injury, potential danger, and death. And what is safety education? Safety education is the acquisition of knowledge, skills, positive attitudes, habits, and practices that are necessary to keep oneself and others free from injury, potential danger, and death. What are safety measures? Safety measures are those things that are done to avoid the occurrence of potential harm and danger around us. There can be safety measures at home. Those in the workplace, you are going to measure a hill. Safety measures at home. Places where we need to be very careful and take safety seriously are the likes of kitchen, in the bathroom, in the bedroom, in the living room. We're going to take a few safety measures from each category. In the kitchen, avoid the careless use of matches and lighters. Knives should be properly stored. Undo and use gas cylinder with great care. Do not overeat oil or else it will go in flame. Safety precautions or safety measures in the bathroom. Bathroom safety. Bathroom with bathtub should have a rubber mat inside to prevent slipping or falling. Never touch electrical appliances with wet or damp ends. Run off the water in the bathtub after use to avoid children drowning in it. Always wash and mop the bathroom floor dry. And what are the safety measures that one needs to carry out in the bedroom? You keep all toys and objects away from the floor. Arrange furniture properly to allow free movement. Mop the bedroom floor dry often. And rug and carpet should also be well laid without bumps. Before the repair of any electrical fitting, the main switch should be off. Safety measures in the school. In the school, the school should maintain the school building very well. The school equipment should be well attended to. The school should have established safety regulations and practices. There should be a school safety club, for example, the road safety club in the school. There should be a regular safety training program for students, workers, and teachers. You keep to the left when walking on the corridor, staircase, or walkways. The school floor should be well laid. In the playground, you warm up thoroughly before taking part in any physical activity. All play activities of the children should be supervised. Inspect the playground to remove any hazardous materials like nails, broken bottles, sticks, etc. Users of any equipment should be properly taught how to use them. Okay, lovely students, we have come to the end of the lesson. I believe you enjoyed it. And this lesson is particularly important as it is needed to ensure our safety in society. Now proceed to the quiz section and answer the questions that follow. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye.